A man convicted of driving drunk and causing a deadly hit and run crash back in March received his sentence today. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is live outside the Douglas County Courthouse with reaction to the sentence. Jake? Jen, the victim, Kathleen Bennis, was deeply involved in her local Saddle Club Legion and Cattlemen's Association, but also worked here in Omaha with theater and events. Now, the man who ultimately was responsible for taking her life says he's changing for the better. I've known, her, known Kathy for 30 years, and... I miss her. 63 year old Kathleen Bennis lived on a farm in Valparaiso. She was a horse lover and her husband a farmer. But she also worked with the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees in Omaha. Oh, she loved it. She loved it just as much as she loved being on the farm. So she kind of had that mixture of both worlds. Friends and coworkers say she was on her way to the CenturyLink Center for a show when she lost her life. 36-year-old Justin Ayers gets 15 to 20 years in prison for motor vehicle homicide DUI. I was very pleased that's what we were after. I mean, the most that he could get. On a Sunday afternoon in March, Ayers, whose blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit, was driving 100 miles an hour and rear-ended Bennis' vehicle, pushing her into traffic at 75th and Maple. Ayers says since then he's gotten clean and has gone through unbearable remorse for taking Bennis' life. I'm sorry. He had too much to drink and he made a really wrong decision. Ayers said he wants to help others not to make the same mistakes. Venice's friends hope Ayers keeps that vow because Kathleen was an authentic person who wanted to see others succeed. Nothing can bring her back. All we have left is her memory. So I'm very glad and I hope that in the time that he has in incarcerated, I guess is the word, that he continues on a path of bettering himself. Now with good time, Ayers will be eligible for parole in about seven and a half years. When he's released from prison, he will have his license revoked for 15 years. Reporting live outside the Douglas County Courthouse in downtown Omaha, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.